Never before had so many warriors and shield maidens taken arms together against a common foe. At the shores of Castra Ignis, the Imperium massed their forces, preparing to repel any attempt at invasion. This was to be the Ulfung's moment of triumph, or their final downfall. again. Do I know you? They call me Bellatrix, infidel. And it's my wish to see if you truly are a giant slayer. Oh! 
Giant Slayer. It would have been a shame to have to slay you. Yes, I was thinking the same about you. Oh, alas, the Bishop of Sky orders your death. Oh, I'm bound by my honor to obey. Forces of the Imperium attack! Oh,
She must not reach the dockyards. I thought there were no women who could match me in battle. Happy to disappoint you. This must end here! I beg thee. Thou must return to Albion with me, Guinevere. My name is Bellatrix, and I am your queen no more. I have sworn an oath to the Imperium to protect it. The giants are coming. Methin has seen the signs. Oh, I will not go back to Albion. My queen. Let me tend the wounds, I implore thee. I don't know who you are, stranger, but I've got a fleet to burn. Well, it seems that all is as the augurs foretold. You and the other bishops really like wearing dresses? You bested my suffragan, the Bishop of Earth, just as was all. 
You defeated my prelate, the Bishop of C, precisely as had been prophesied. But I am Hierarch of the Imperium Romanum, and the Augurs foretell that you cannot defeat me. Now die, servant of false gods! Your Augurs may well be correct, but perhaps a more pressing concern should be your fleet. While you've been putting on your makeup, I made some improvements to your fleet. How dare you! The Vanier will have their vengeance for this outrage! We shall meet again, barbarian! Quickly! Thou must leave before he can make good upon his threat. How's that queen of yours? She says thou art the giant slayer. It's one of my hobbies. I entreat thee to aid my master, the King of Albion, in his hour of need. Please take this map. It will help you find my king. And I pray to the veneer that thou art the one we seek. The she-wolf had won a great victory, angered a mighty enemy, and encountered an unlikely ally. The Black Knight had sought to bring back his queen, but she had renounced her crown and sworn to serve the Imperium. Now the fate of Midgard itself would be determined upon this distant archipelago, as all the Ulfung's enemies turned their attention towards Albion. Seeking the power to bring about Ragnarok, Grimnir and his new allies, the Frost Giants, cross the water to Albion in search of the secret of the Eternal Well. The islands of this archipelago were under the protection of he who had trained me in the ways of the Seer, Murthin, the Arch Druid. Although a servant of the Aesir, he had sworn his service to the Knights of the Vanir, led by the King of Albion. But his true loyalty was to the land itself, and his ancient rights had protected Albion from the growing threat of endless winter. Until the Frost Giants arrived. But it was not just Grimnir who threatened these distant shores, for Simul and her new allies, the Blood Drinkers, also sought the path to the Eternal Well, and with it, the power to bring about the end of us all. Let it start. Great victory, my chieftain. Every clan sings of your courage. Let's have less singing and more planning. The islands on this map Palamedes gave me. Can our ships make this journey? Mm, not without some modifications, but I've learned a lot from studying our enemy's ships. If you can supply me with what I need, I'll be glad to improve your longship so it can survive the voyage. I can't help but worry about your voyages to Albion, but I don't know I can to make your ship up to the task. The longship's ready to sail. See, my chieftain, look at a strong hull, full sails and curved bulwarks. <laughs> I won't marry you Sailor to Albion, take the glory of the Alfung to those distant shores, and please try not to wreck her. 